everyone. Welcome to the restaurant show. And I am so <laughs> excited about this. I have the executive chef and owner, Chef Richard Wilson of Maggie's Pub in Haversham. Thank you so much for coming on. It's my pleasure. I'm so excited. He's already let me taste some things and I'm like, that is crazy tasting. I love it. I love the ingenious of your um, of your uh, entrees that we're about to prepare. We so, try to have a lot of fun with food. Well, and you keep did. it simple, but make everything. And Iron Chef, you just won an Iron Chef competition, right? In I Buford. did. I did. And he said he was crazy at it. I love it. <laughs> it was the fastest 28 minutes okay. in the history of 28 minutes. <laughs> I love it. Well, this is going to be the fastest seven minutes. I'm sure it's probably going to go this by. This is pretty quick. Yes. Yeah. But um, what are we cooking up today? So we're going to do. Uh, it's a I want to feature two dishes that are currently on the menu, okay. although we change our menu roughly every three months, sometimes okay. even before that. So always something new going always on. Always something new. And we like it. to feature local ingredients, so uh, we're going to feature two local ingredients okay. today. The first is local shrimp All right. um, that I get from Sea Eagle Market. Yes, we uh, love Sea Eagle Market. We love sea Eagle, They're great. Right. The Reeves family are the awesome. best people around. And it's a family working it. <laughs> it's a family. They own their own it boats. Is. And, it's uh, awesome. So, it's awesome. Um, just a local shrimp tail on. Okay. Um, I think a lot of people like to take the tail off, um, but I, I think I it's sweeter. It it's yeah. better with the tail on. Absolutely. Or anything, anything you can cook that has bone in or tail on. Just a little bit of olive oil in the pan, salt and pepper on the shrimp. All right. And uh, about what size are those? Oh, love that sizzle, guys. These are uh, these are 16s. Perfect. That we use. Um, they're a little bit hard to get. But if you ask for it, they're obviously they're the more expensive right, of right. all the shrimp. But but they look so delicious. They they're look really good. And, yeah. So while those are um, while those are sautéing, okay. we're gonna start the next dish, which is a Brussels sprout coleslaw. Yes, I was so excited when I heard right. that he was doing so, this. <laughs> uh, this is a Japanese mandolin. You okay. can get it at any cook shop. And it's but we were just talking about it. Safety is a big thing with Safe, these mandolins. Safety is a big thing, right? right. So you uh, you typically want to go slower and pay very close attention. I'm going to go really fast. Yeah, because, don't try this at home right away. We, we, don't, we don't have much time. <laughs> that we're is just And my kids are always like, Mom, are you trying to feed us baby cabbages? And, but, well, it is a cabbage. I mean, you know, it's a, kind of. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cabbage. We so are making a coleslaw. We're so. making a coleslaw, right. Now, um, are there? And you want it. You want it for coleslaw. You want it really, really thin. Right, right. So, you don't uh, want those big chunks of pieces. Right. You can go on the bigger one if you get a little nervous. But um, you can see I have it literally on the uh, on the first setting, right. which is really, 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 really. I thin. love it. Nice, and it's right. really going to take on that dressing really nicely. Oh, we are hot on that grill, we are aren't we? Hot. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a good sear. Oh, and a nice sear so on just, it. Uh, just to turn a little bit. So you just want to get them brown. And you know, for you novice cooks at home, it's it's really simple. It turns brown. It's because you're cooking sugar out of it. Right. So it's very simple. It's, Excellent. You know, all you want to do is get is get the sugar going a little bit. And a nice sear. We'll, we'll put our our Brussels sprouts. I love going it. And now here. this is something that you serve at the restaurant it as is. a side. It's a side on um, on the veggie burger veggie that we burger. have. Love right. It. And you do obviously have. Um, vegetarian options there. We do. We, we actually kind of pride ourselves on it so that right. anytime you come in we're always going to have something for you. Well and I love that they, um, you guys are big on sourcing out from local farmers. We, we right? are. It's a big thing it's for you. It's a big thing for yeah, us. Yeah. And yeah. so obviously having a great vegetarian menu is part of that. So and now you told this, okay, good example. So this is, uh, this is an Asian pear, right. uh, and it was picked this morning. This morning, I mean, it can't right, get off better a, than off that. Off a friend of mine's tree. We only, unfortunately, it. we only get them for, uh, you know, we only get them for a month of the right. year, but. Uh, but even but better, that's what makes it so special on that is. menu. Anytime you can source locally, you know, it's just gonna make it so much better. Who are some of the, um, who are some of the, um, Companies that you use or farmers that you use? Mostly what we do is we support a company called Silo. Okay. Uh, which is Sea Island local uh, local outlet. You can find them at uh, silo.buford.com. Uh, okay. So something you could Google and you'll be able to find it. And that's right. something locally or uh, you can, even if you're not a restaurant, you right. can still if, utilize if you're them. Just a, you can if you're just a regular person. Yeah. And they have 60 farms that they that they so, represent. Which you would normally not be able to just get to. Right. right. You couldn't just go to these farms and get right. this from them. You, right, exactly. Right, exactly. Now, Chef, I just want to go real quick. So this is shaved Brussels sprouts, right. Asian pear, and then you have some um, onion in there that you just diced up. Uh -huh, and so all different sizes and textures to give you. You, you really, you want the texture. Yeah, of, absolutely. Um, to make it a little more fun. You could cut yours down a little smaller if you wanted I your um, your Asian pear, but yeah. really it's kind of one of the big parts of the dish. Yeah. So, uh, and so you want to see the Asian pear. You don't want it to be, you know, 
it's a, right. it's a nice piece of fruit. I mean, you don't want it to be chopped up in little pieces. So this is a this is a pineapple um, okay. that we've already cleaned mm -hmm. and and cored out. This is a great tool. You can get this at your local shop too. I this love is it. a core instead of trying to um, right and cut also it all out. right love and that, also guys. is really good for um, they're really good for plating. Gotcha. All so right. all we're doing is just going to saute the pineapple okay. now. We just want to get it, yeah. just want to get it brown on both sides. And, and I know we're starting actually, to get gonna, close to our time here. Right. Um, so, so we're going to finish this first dish, right? Right. We'll finish it. We'll finish this one up. This is house-made teriyaki. Love it. I tasted it. Would love it. <laughs> uh, it's really good, and I really recommend people make it at home. Perfect. Learn to make sauces. They're a lot of fun. Exactly. Um, and you they, can change it up and make it your own. They can be not very forgiving at times, but. You know, if you just practice it, this just perfect. just keep practicing it, and it will. Um, and we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go. Should I go ahead and add that while I'm, we're I'm running gonna, out of I'm time gonna, here? I'm yet? gonna finish that in okay. just one second. And we'll put this on, and we're gonna plate up the shrimp and make this wonderful slaw dressing for this Asian pear coleslaw. I love it with Brussels, shaved Brussels sprouts. So this is a fresh if coleslaw. You want, yeah. If you want, I'll toss it together while yeah, you finish up just, your plate. Uh, right, we're just go. gonna. There you go. Love just it. want. Looks like about. You don't want too much. You want everything coated, but Perfect. you don't want it to be too much. All right, so I'll mix this together and plate it as you plate you your shrimp. And, this, up. Uh, and then local pecans, just to finish Beautiful. It. It looks like about a handful. So you guys remember, they are in Habersham. If you want to plate that up while I plate this, oh, I gotcha. and um, check them out, Maggie's Pub. And when are you open? We're open Tuesday through Saturday from 5 p.m. until 9 p.m. Perfect, perfect. You guys make sure, and uh, reservations recommended? Reservations are recommended. Right. The pub tends to sell out. Excellent. All right. Okay, y'all, these are some of our beautiful dishes. We're going to finish up with that shrimp. It's really quick. All right, and of course that skewer is an important part of the presentation. Well, you want to add a little architecture to your dish. Love it. So we'll just push it in there. We'll Love take it. Thank one. you so much, Chef, for joining us. You are so welcome. My pleasure to be here. All right, you guys, we will be back in just a moment. And thank you again. Remember, Maggie's Pub in Habersham. We're going to put those finishing touches and then we'll make sure that you see these pictures online for sure. There you All go. All right. And those great corn husks. Thank you guys. We'll be back in just a moment.